Hello students. So today we are going to study um, through online teaching a topic of section 2. So this is our first lecture. So try to go through the video entirely and then we will whatever doubts you have we will be solving it through Google Meet. So let us go through this presentation and the topic we are going to go through is introduction to alternate spinning systems. So when I say alternate spinning systems it is something which is other than ring spinning system till now in our entire you know uh, past semesters you have studied the ring spinning system in detail which produces ring spun yarn so are there any other systems that are available which can produce yarns in a way better than what ring spinning system can do that is what we are going to study we are going to compare <coughs> the ring spun yarns or the system with the new spinning systems that may be available to us to produce yarns. Okay, so let us begin. So let us first get familiar with the names that are there that are you know appearing in the market, the popular ones. So a few of them just so that we begin. The first one is the rotor spinning. You must have already heard of it. The second one is the air jet spinning. Then there is something known as a two nozzle air jet spinning. And we have friction spinning, DREF 2000 and DREF 3000 that are available. These are some of the popular alternative spinning systems. Of course, there are few other systems that are there at the developmental stage or research stage, which we will study a little bit in detail, but we will focus more on these systems that are available to us and which can, which has got the capacity to give a tough competition to the ring spinning system that we already know. So let us first see the advantages and disadvantages that are offered by all these systems when you compare them with the ring spinning system or the ring spun yarns. So why is ring spinning still when you go to the mills, you all must have already visited a few mills or done some kind of training, industrial training and you must have seen that there are ring frames that are installed for the making of yarn why is the ring spinning system still popular even when there are other alternative spinning systems that are available in the market so let us first understand why this ring spun yarns are still popular the first reason for the popularity is flexibility. When I say flexibility, it means that the ring spinning system provides yarn counts in a wide variety of, uh, you know, fineness, which we will see again in the coming slides. We will study each one of these points a little bit in detail and try to understand why this, what this system has to Offer. So now we come to the second point that is universal applicability. Ring spun yarns find a large number of application areas. When I say this, it means that ring spun yarns can be used in many applications because of its quality. And of course, the yarn quality, which is the best and which gets further improved when you go for compact spinning as you know compact spinning is just an uh, you know improvement over the ring spun yarns 
wherein an extra attachment is there on the ring frame which improves the quality of the yarn spun by the ring spinning system. So it is basically ring spun yarn. So when it comes to yarn quality, it is further improved by compact spinning. So there are basically three points, flexibility, universal applicability and yarn quality. So we'll see a little bit in detail when what do I mean by this in the coming slides. So this is a chart or a graph as you may see. There is this x axis and there is this y axis. On the x axis there is the yarn counts which are mentioned in English count, metric and text. I hope you students remember the definitions of all of them. Let us see one system. We let us follow one system that is English. Here on the x-axis when there is a number which is 0.5 which goes to 120. 0.5 is supposed to be a coarse count and as you go along the x-axis you see that it, the yarn count becomes finer and finer which goes right up to 120. And on the y-axis you see different names here. Now you must be familiar, we have already um, named them in, the, in our initial slide. Ring, Rotor, Drift 2000, Two Nozzle Air Jet, Drift 3000 and Air Jet. So let us see them, study them one by one. Ring spinning as you can see, this, this is the line for ring spinning. Ring spun yarn can be spun in the count range from coarse to medium to large throughout. It covers the entire spectrum. When it comes to rotor, you see that it is limited and if you observe, it is starting somewhere at maybe 4 or 5 and it goes max up to 40s, which is basically a coarse count range. Then comes DREF 2000, which is again falling into the coarse count range from maybe 0.5 onwards right up to maybe say 18s, 12, 15s and, and so on. Then you see the two nozzle air jet which slightly you know enters on this side into the fine or medium count range starting from coarse to medium but still it has a long way to go. This range it is not able to produce the fine count although it has entered a little bit into medium and high. What about DREF 3000? Even this you can observe it is under the coarse count range. Then you see air jet which is again similar to two nozzle air jet which enters into say medium to slightly fine count range. So when you compare all this still ring spinning has got the upper hand and it can spin a wide variety of yarn counts and that's why I say ring spinning system is flexible. The first point in our initial slide. Okay, so now the next point was about universal applicability. What do I mean by universally applicable? When I say this, it means that the ring spun yarns are applicable. I mean, I can use these yarns in the apparel sector and also it has got a wide application in the technical textile sector also. This is because the yarn quality allows it. When you see the new spinning system that we shall be studying or the alternate spinning system that we shall be studying, the yarns produced by them do not find applications in the in some of the technical textile the region, maybe because of its quality, it cannot sustain the, uh, the uh, demands of this particular market. But ring spun yarns can be easily used in many of these sectors. So let us just take a look briefly at the sectors that are there in the technical textile. It is automobile, 
industrial, sports, construction, home furnishings and textiles. Then there is medical, agriculture, protection garments. Then you have packaging and a few others. You will see that Ringspan Yarns find an application in all of these sectors. Whereas the new yarns that are there, they do not, they are not able to compete with Ringspan Yarns in these sectors. So we have already seen the flexibility part, and then we have seen the universal applicability of Ringspan Yarns. Now we go to the yarn quality part. Here we see that. This chart shows us again on the x-axis the fiber that we are using. We are using cotton and we are going from 20 mm to 25 mm to 30 mm of cotton. That means the staple length is increasing on this x-axis. Then we are also going to see polyester cotton blend and maybe polyester and other man-made blends from 33 mm to 36 mm. So on the x-axis staple length is increasing and on the y-axis we are looking at the relative yarn strength when you compare it of course when you when i say relative it is relative to the ring spun yarn strength that is going to be our base and we are going to look at the other systems how they compare with ring spun yarns so let us see this here if you take ring spinning as a hundred percent level yarn strength we see that Compact spinning, which is again a just a modification over ring spinning, gives us a better yarn strength in for all these fiber lengths. Now we see the rotor spun yarns. We see that rotor spun yarns deteriorate in their yarn strength as you go along the x-axis. That means as you increase the fiber length rotor spun yarns deteriorate in yarn strength. Same is the case with two nozzle, uh, sorry, friction spinning which also deteriorates but only in case of two nozzle air jet spinning we see that the graph improves that means as your fiber length increases or maybe for even blends or for other fibers we see that the yarn strength is improving slightly but still all these three whether it is two nozzle rotor or friction they still have a lower yarn strength when you compare it with ring or compact ring spun yarns so on all three points whether it is flexibility or whether it is universal applicability or it is yarn quality we see that the ring spun yarns are better off and that is why ring spinning system is still very popular. Coming to the next slide or the next discussion. Of course there are some problems with ring spinning, the ring spinning system as such and this is the, these are the reasons why the other alternate spinning systems are more attractive. So let us see what are those reasons. The first is that the ring spinning machine or the ring frame is basically quite difficult to automate. Of course, there are you know some robo splicers that are uh, that are there. Maybe a robo doffing is there, which gives it some kind of automation in this area. But still, the new spinning systems, whatever the machines are there it is much easier to automate. So when it comes to this point, automation, ring spinning or the ring frame has got a problem. Next important point goes towards productivity and um, traveler or spindle speed. The traveler or the spindle speed limits productivity rather. We know that the highest spindle speed that can be achieved by a ring frame is around 25,000 rpm and traveler speeds cannot go above 45 meters per second. That's because if it goes above that, the traveler will fly off or burn out and the machine 
shall fail it will stop and you cannot produce at speeds higher than 25000 so these are basically two major drawbacks when it comes to the ring spinning system so let us see them in a little bit of more detail so this is a graph which shows the ring spinning productivity levels on the x axis again we'll see the yarn count english yarn count we'll see one of them and we'll just follow it the same is converted into tex i hope you all know the formula 590.9 divided by this english count should give you tex so now it is 5 to 45 is the range and let's see what is there on the y axis on the y axis is given the grams per spindle hour it means that if the machine runs for 1 hour if the spindle runs for 1 hour how much production is given by any particular system so and it is give expressed in grams so let us take a look one by one a here is ring spinning so let us look at a it gives production at this level which is below 200 line here so the production in grams per spindle hour is below 200 and as you go finer into the yarn the productivity or the production levels go down then let us take a look at rotor spinning b which is much higher it is above 800 somewhere around to the range of 900 grams per spindle hour and so on which is almost four times as you can see when you compare with ring sp spinning at maybe a coarse count level of course it deteriorates it comes down but still you will see that the production levels are much higher when you compare it with ring spun or the ring spinning system when you see c it is the two nozzle air jet this also deteriorates but still the production levels are almost double or two two to three times of that of ring spinning then you come to air jet spinning which is again four times that of ring spinning it goes down and but still when you compare with the all the uh, remaining three systems that are ring spinning it is quite high when you compare with rotor it is still higher and with two nozzle air jet also when you compare the air jet spinning system it gives you a much better production so this d air jet is quite attractive in terms of productivity the other problem with ring spinning was that it had a limitation as to the number of twist that a system can insert for one spindle rotation so as we already said and know that the for ring frame this highest spindle speed that can be achieved is 25000 rpm so let us compare it compare it with the other systems that we just have are trying to study the ring spinning the highest speed that can be achieved is 25000 as compared to that rotor when you see it can reach a level of 1 lakh 20000 and beyond this there is a limitation which is partly due to the drafting which is which cannot go beyond this production or this twist levels also the twisting system also does not permit going beyond 1 lakh 20000 per rotor when it comes to two nozzle air jet we see that the capacity increases here it becomes 2 lakh 50000 and there is no limitation due to the twist twisting system but yes there is some limitation that the drafting system puts in the drafting system is not able to handle speeds beyond 2 lakh 50 in this case when you compare it with air jet you see that there is no limitation imposed by the twisting system and the speeds can go up to 4 lakhs per minute 4 lakhs 
speed spindle rotations per minute and here when you see some amount of limitation is put in by the drafting system and the fiber transport system but still when you compare it is too high to ignore that is why this is going to give a tough competition to the ring spinning system or the ring spun lens of course they have some problems which we will discuss in detail during our lectures so now we have already seen what are the advantages and disadvantages if you go for a ring spinning system next let us see what makes the new spinning system so attractive whether it is rotor whether it is friction whether it is air jet why these systems are attractive why they will be they might pose a you know threat to ring spinning system maybe in the future if there are still some more improvements um, in terms of the problems that these systems might uh, give you which you will see again so let us first look at a few advantages that these new spinning systems give you of course it's the production rates we have already seen the chart and the graph just before this the production rates are very high and that's why the cost is lower when you compare it also we see that the number of people that are required on the shop floor or for maintenance of the machines when it comes to new spinning systems number of people required is very less also the space requirement of the machine as compared to ring frame is around 50% so this is a huge advantage when it comes to new spinning systems then we also find that some of the process stages can completely be eliminated in ring spinning whatever process stages we require we do not require so many process stages when if we have to uh, make a yarn on the new spinning system so we'll see this again then the biggest advantage another big advantage that you see is there is a relative ease when it comes to automating the new spinning systems first let us take a look at the requirement of labor or personnel here again we see a chart on the x axis we see ring rotor and air jet they are it is compared with the amount that one needs to spend in terms of dollars to produce 1 kg of yarn which is this yarn is it is it is a study of 30s count and the study was conducted in india by reuter so when you compare these costs let us take a look at the components there are components which are shown there is a break up of costs involved in producing 1 kg of yarn in dollars so there is waste component there is a labor component there is a energy auxiliary material and capital cost component so when you come to ring spinning when you concentrate here on labor that is what we were studying we see that there is a quite a reduction in the labor requirement in case of rotor when you compare it with ring and also in air jet there is a lesser labor requirement or personal requirement for maintenance or for the operation purposes so this is one of the advantages of new spinning systems then we talked about elimination of the process stages let us look at the process stages that we already know you already know how carded yarns are made what are the process stages that are required we also know how to make a combed yarn on ring spinning system and what are the process stages required let us just revise a little bit these are the two system two process stages which is shown in in the form of a picture so here one is the card in both 
they require a card of course they require blue room before this so let us start from here you need blue room and if you are making a say combed yarn what you need is a blue room then a card then you require a two passages or rather one passage of draw frame first then you will require a comber preparatory then you require a combing machine or a comber then again you may require a drafting system before I'd like just like before after you require a drafting system or a draw frame then you need a rowing frame and your last stage that is the ring frame so at least you will require one two three four five six seven machines if you are going to make a combed yarn along with blow room before this so this is a big line you require so many machines so many process stages let us look at carded with so what are the process stages that are required the card draw frame two passage of draw frame then a rowing frame and a ring frame so you don't need the combing here if you're not making a comb here so the comber preparatory and the comber can be just dropped but still you'll require one two three four five process stages to make a carded yarn now let us look at if you are going to make yarn by say rotor spinning then how many process stages do we require let us look at this first one this is a card and this is the drafting module for card which is attached to it so you require this one this two of course you require blue room no need to mention that and then after this it can this sliver can directly go on to the rotor spinning machine that means you can get directly a yarn from sliver you don't need the rowing frame at all then there is another um, line which gives you a slightly better yarn on rotor spinning itself so maybe we can introduce one draw frame here card then a drafting module for card one draw frame is introduced and then this draw frame sliver can go directly onto the rotor spinning and you can get a yarn or you can also go for this where you have a simple card no drafting module just a card, two draw frame passages and rotor spin. So basically we have in all these three where you are using rotor spinning as a method for making yarn, we have eliminated this stage, rowing. The rowing frame has been eliminated. That means we have dropped one stage. So this is another advantage of um, a new spinning system over ring spinning so we have seen already the advantages related to new spinning systems we should also know the problems that uh, are uh, posed by new spinning systems so that if we improve on these problems maybe these systems can compete with ring spinning or on the other hand if you improve ring spinning on the uh, problems that are posed by ring spinning system maybe ring spinning system can still survive in the market so let us go through the problems one by one yarn characteristic is very different from ring spun yarns that means sometimes the yarn spun by new spinning systems air jet spun yarn or rotor spun yarn are not usable are, or are rather unusable in certain areas of application maybe technical textiles the various areas that we have seen some of them you just cannot use them then the next is the consistency of yarn quality the new spinning systems do provide good yarns but maybe they are not consistent for example, today I may get a particular quality of yarn, tomorrow I may get a different one. So if the consistency is not there, it becomes very difficult for the next process of say weaving or knitting to go. I mean, if there is no consistency, the consistency of the final product also changes. So this is not acceptable. 
so new spinning system gives you this kind of a problem when we study in greater detail these new spinning systems you will find that there are greater demands on the raw material when i say greater demands it means that the raw material preparation should be far far better for new spinning systems when compared to ring spinning one of the points is the raw material cleanliness it should be um, practically trash or dust free entirely before they can be processed successfully on some of the new spinning systems because if there is even a small amount of dust the new spinning system fails the production the machine stops and you lose out on productivity and and it just then fails purpose is lost so there will be a greater demand on raw material if you are going to use new spinning system for producing rings then as we already know the market segment is too limited that means all the new spinning systems come in a specific narrow count range they do not um, go further beyond into the fine and very fine count range which ring spinning system or ring spun yarns can be spun into so this is one big advantage that ring spinning system has over all the other new spinning systems then again ring spinning ring frame can handle all types of raw materials that is from polyester to cotton to the acrylics all types whereas new spinning system cannot handle all of them all the fibers cannot be spun on uh, all the new spinning system plus the end products ring spinning or ring spun yarns can cater to all the end products all the applications whereas new spinning system yarns do not they find they are not usable in some of these end products coming to the next problem with new spinning system there is a high level of skill that is required and the expertise that is required in case of maintenance and upkeep and operation of a new spinning system machine whether it is rotor whether it is air jet you would require a lot of expertise in the people th that are handling it day to day or maybe for maintenance and so on so this is one requirement which might not be um so much important in case of ring spinning system even a normal a person with no uh, average practical skills and expertise can handle a ring frame about expenditure if the machine new spinning system any of the machines break down then in that case there is a high expenditure involved in case of its repair and maintenance which when you compare with ring frame it is much lower so now we have seen the advantages disadvantages that are related with ring spinning and also the advantages disadvantages with respect to new spinning systems whatever are the disadvantages of ring spinning systems are basically the advantages for new spinning system so also the advantages that are there in ring spinning are basically disadvantages a few points are disadvantages for the new spinning system so we have studied uh, studied them we have now learned to compare them and now we know why we have to study the new spinning systems in detail and how they can uh, be competitive in the market and maybe some day replace ring spinning altogether so let us we'll have to study them over uh, during the future lectures so before that i would just like to give you an overall view of you know um, the system that we are going to study during this semester in section 2 of your syllabus so just take a look at this chart i will i will point out to the names that you are already familiar now 
for example rotor spinning you can see here then there is ref2 2 here it is ref2000 also called as ref2 in short then we also know are familiar with the name that is two nozzle air jet spinning which is here we are familiar with ref3 that is ref3000 we are also familiar with the word air jet spinning so this entire chart has gives you all the popular systems that are there as well as some that are at the developmental stage or research stage but during our study we will study all of them but we will study air jet spinning as well as rotor spinning a little bit in detail because these are going to give a tough competition to the ring spinning system in the future so we will spend a little more time in detail study of these two systems but uh, from the next lecture onwards, I will be first covering these systems starting from electrostatic spinning. And I will cover each one of them one by one. And in the end, we will study rotor spinning in detail. Also, this we will study in detail. Okay. So, now we stop here. Thank you very much for being patient and whatever doubts you have whatever questions you have we shall meet during our lecture slot after you have seen this gone through this video and um, during the lecture slot you can come online through google meet and uh, we can discuss all your doubts and solve all your questions during that time slot given to you in the evening today between 4 to 5 okay thank you very much